Hello everyone and welcome back to Learning with Papa. Today we're going to be reading Peppa Pig's stories. The story today is yours new balloon. Look at yours over here and this is his new balloon. Let's find out what happened in this story. Peppa and George are driving home with Granny and Grandpa Pig when they see Miss Rabbit ice cream stall. Bing, and this is Miss Rabbit. Let us stop for ice cream, said Granny Pig. Why not, said Grandpa Pig. I think we deserve it. <laughs> Peppa, Granny, and Grandpa Pig shows their ice cream. George is next. Dinosaur, roar, said George. Oh, he wants the dinosaur. I think George wants a dinosaur balloon, said Miss Rabbit. All right, how much is it? Grandpa Pig asked. $10, please, said Miss Rabbit. Grandpa Pig thinks the balloon is a bit too expensive, but he buys it for George. Hold on tight to it, Miss Rabbit said. Huh, I wonder what's happening here. But George lets go and the balloon starts to float away. Huh, no, it's going away. Grandpa Pig quickly grabbed the string. This is very valuable, George. I'll hold on to it on our way home, said Grandpa Pig. Outside Granny and Grandpa Pig's house, George played with his balloon. George, said Peppa, this is an up balloon and if you let it go again, it will go up to the moon. Moon, cries George, and he lets the balloon go. Not again, George. The balloon goes up and up, but Grandpa Pig catch it just in time. Good job, Grandpa Pig. Peppa and George have gone indoors to keep the balloon safe. Hello, Polly, said Peppa. George has got a new balloon. Dinosaur, roar. Squawk, says Polly. Balloon. Both Polly and George love the balloon. Ah, oh, look at Polly. She loves the balloon. Huh? Oh no, George cries, letting go of the balloon. The balloon floats all the way out the door, up the stair, and into the attic. Don't worry, it's safe in here, says Peppa. Look at the balloon going up into the attic. Oh no, the only way out of the attic is the window, says Granny Pig. And the window is always shut. <gasps> but the window is not shut. The balloon escaped outside. Oh no, the balloon escaped because the window was open. Oh, wha what are they going to do? Your balloon is going to the moon, George, says Peppa. <gasps> George started crying. Wah! Just then, Daddy Pig arrived to take them home. Oh dear, said Daddy Pig. There must be some way we can get the balloon back, cries Granny Pig. Quack, balloon, said po Polly Parrot. Oh, maybe Polly's going to get the balloon. Polly flies high up into the sky and catches the balloon string in her beak, just like this. Polly to the rescue, said Grandpa Pig. Polly Parrot has saved the day. Hooray, you're here. Who's a clever Polly? Who's a clever Polly? Said Granny Pig and Polly Parrot. <laughs> that is so funny. George, don't let go of your balloon again, says Peppa. Daddy Pig has an idea. I'll tie the balloon to your wrist. George, he said, that will stop it from floating away. Oh, that's really smart, Daddy Pig. Good job. They're all happy here. George is very happy. He loved his balloon. Everyone is happy. His balloon was rescued. <laughs> Aw, everyone is happy. Yay! The end. Quack! Balloon! I hope that you have enjoyed. See you next time, everyone. Have fun. Bye!